one, Robbie notices that Alexandra is unhappy about something. Is something wrong, Alexandra? Alexandra is lonely. She misses her family in Greece. You really miss your family, don't you? Yes. A little later, they hear a strange sound. Do you hear something? Yes, what was that? Walkman is absolutely wonderful. Richard and Marilyn bought it for me for my birthday. They're so thoughtful. You are very lucky, Robbie, to have such a nice family. Is something wrong, Alexandra? No, nothing. Yes, there is. I can tell. What's the matter? Come on, you can tell me. What's up? I don't know. Something's wrong. Okay, let's talk. I received a letter from my parents this morning. Did they write some bad news? No. Well, then why are you so sad? I miss them. I miss them very much. I'm sorry, Alexandra. But I understand. The Molinas treat me so nicely, and I love being with your family so much. But when I received the letter with photographs of my family, I cried. I cried because I missed them all. You really miss your family, don't you? Yes. I know I must seem silly. It's not like I have nobody. I like the Molinas very much, and they're so kind to me. Hey, why don't we go out for a cheeseburger and french fries? That'll cheer you up. Y and you can use my Walkman. That's a good idea. But if we go out, please, don't complain about your math teacher or your math homework. I want to have fun. So do I. I have to turn off the lights or else my father will get really angry. He says I never turn them out when I leave. If they come home and they're on... Ow! Ow! Do you hear something? Yes, what was that? It sounded like a dog barking. Ah! Sounded like a dog barking right here. Yeah! A dog? A Springer Spaniel. <laughs> Come on in. Make yourself at home. <laughs> oh, you poor little thing. Come here. Come on. <laughs> <sighs> poor baby. Where did you come from? Her name is Gemma. And she belongs to Mr. and Mrs. Levinson. There's a phone number. 555-8448. <laughs> Robbie, maybe you should call them and tell the Levinsons we have their cute little Spaniel. <laughs> I've always wanted a Springer Spaniel. She's so cute. <laughs> Hello. The number you are calling, 555-8448, five, 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 four, four, is no longer in service. The number is no longer in service. Oh, you poor, poor baby. You've lost your family. We'll find them. Don't worry, Alexandra.
Alexander and I are such good friends. We listen to music together and go places together and talk about things. Like today, Alexander was so unhappy and I didn't understand why at first. I received a letter from my parents this morning. Did they write some bad news? No. Well, then why are you so sad? Then I realized that Alexander was lonely. She was so lonely without her family. You really miss your family, don't you? Yes. I know I must seem silly. It's not like I have nobody. I like the Molinas very much, and they're so kind to me. She seems so sad. I had to cheer her up. I got an idea. We always have such a good time when we go out together. Hey, why don't we go out for a cheeseburger and french fries? That'll cheer you up. But then Gemma showed up. A dog! I think Alexandra felt better. She wasn't the only one who missed her family. Gemma did too. Gemma looked so lonely. With such a sad face. And Alexandra understood. Oh, you poor, poor baby. You've lost your family. Don't worry, Alexandra. We'll find them. In Act Two, Robbie and Alexandra take care of Gemma. Gemma, sit. Good, Gemma. They want to find the dog's owners. So Robbie calls the ASPCA, the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. 555 Hello, ASPCA. Later, Robbie and Alexandra go to the ASPCA for help, but they might not be able to find the owners. No ID number. Without that, it's hard. What can Robbie and Alexandra do? find the owner. How, Robbie? Let me think. Gemma, sit. Good, Gemma. Give me your paw. Good, Gemma. This dog is well trained. <laughs> she likes you, too. So how are we going to find the owners? With a little help from the ASPCA. Mm -hmm. The American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. They're the ones. We once found a cat. She was caught in the branches of our tree, and Dad called the ASPCA. They came and solved the problem. Robbie, let's call them. Let me see. ASPCA. Here it is. ASPCA Animal Shelter. 555-7700. Five, 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 seven, seven Hello, ASPCA. Hello. My name is Robbie Stewart. I have a lost dog I'd like to bring to you. How late are you open? We're open till 9 p.m. Thank you. I'll bring the dog over by 9. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Goodbye. They're still open? They're open until 9 o'clock. We have two and a half hours. Let's take Gemma by there now. They'll find the owner. I hope so. I'm so sad to see this little dog without her family. I'm sure they'll find the owner. But if they don't, I'll adopt her. She's so cute. Look at those eyes. She's hard to resist. Don't you just love her? I'd like to keep her, too. But I'll be going home to Greece at the end of the semester. She just wants love and affection. <laughs> Come on, Robbie. Let's get her to the animal shelter so they can find her owners quickly. Don't worry, Jenna. We'll get you home. It's not easy being away from home. <laughs> Come on, Poochie. Add a girl. Let's go. We're off to the animal shelter. <laughs> 
Robbie Stewart, and this is Alexandra Pappas. Your name will do, Mr. Stewart. Your address? 46 Linden Street, Riverdale. Where did you find the dog? She found us. You tried calling the number on the collar? Yes, but the number is no longer in service. And there's no address on the dog tag? There's no other information. No ID number. Without that, it's hard. You will try to find the dog's owner. Oh, we'll try, believe me. And if you don't... Yes? If you don't, can I... Can I adopt the dog? Why, yes. If the owners don't claim the dog in 48 hours, then you can apply for adoption. How do I do that? You really want to? Yes, I'm serious. If no one comes to claim Gemma, I'd like to adopt her. It's not difficult. <clears throat> I mean, the, uh, no, no, the, 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 the dog. Where did you find the dog? The owner. I'm sure they'll find the owner. The problem is they need to find the owner of the dog. The number. You tried calling the number on the collar? The animal shelter. Come on, Robbie, let's get her to the animal shelter so they can find her owners quickly. The number is out of service, so the problem is they need to find the owner of the dog. And the hour is very late, but the animal shelter is open till 9. The dog, the owner, the problem, the animal, the number, the hour. You hear the before a consonant sound. The dog, the problem, the number. You hear the before a vowel sound. The owner, the animal, the hour. Wait! H is not a vowel sound. It's a consonant sound. But it's not the first sound. The H is silent. The hour. But what about the dog? Robbie has the idea to adopt Gemma if the owners, <laughs> the Levinsons, don't call the office. You hear the before a consonant sound. You hear the before a vowel sound. The idea, the owners, the Levinsons, the office. I just love the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. <laughs> the end. In Act 3, Robbie finds out how to adopt a dog. If you want to adopt an animal, first we need to know some references. References? People we know? I love animals. Both Robbie and Alexandra would like to have a pet. To have a friend. A pal. You know, man's best friend is his dog. Later on, Linda has news for Robbie. We have good news and bad news, Robbie. Will Linda find the owners? Or will Robbie adopt Gemma? If you want to adopt an animal, 
First, we need to know some references. References? People we know? Friends, teachers. We need to talk to some people about you. We want to be sure that you're responsible and that you can take good care of an animal. Then you have to fill out this form about your family background. Is that it? No, there's more. We need to know about your history with animals. Have you ever owned an animal? Yes. We had a cat when I was eight years old. I love cats. Do you have any animals now? Unfortunately, no. Anything else? We also like to know your reasons for wanting an animal. Just to hold it and cuddle with it. Just to have as a pet. I love animals. To have a friend, a pal. You know, man's best friend is his dog. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing more. If you're under 21 years of age... That's me. Then an adult must sign for you. Uh-oh. <laughs> no problem. My parents will think it's a good idea. I'll be back with them. If the real owners don't come to claim Gemma. After 48 hours. But please call first. Thanks for your information. And for being so helpful. It's my pleasure. Nice talking to both of you. Thanks again. Bye. Maybe the real owners will come to claim her. Her eyes look so sad. She must really miss them. I see you're both animal lovers. We are. Goodbye, Miss Aborn. We'll call in a couple of days. Goodbye. And thanks for bringing Gemma in. Bye. I keep thinking about the dog, about Gemma alone in the animal shelter. I know, but I promise you, Alexander, the dog is just fine. They're very kind to the animals. I know they are. I mean, about her being alone. Even if they are kind to Gemma, she's still alone without her family. Ready, folks? Are you ready, Alexander? Yes, I'm ready. Uh, I'll have the chef salad, please. I will have a cheeseburger medium rare with raw onion and french fries please anything to drink a diet cola please ginger ale with lots of ice for me thank you i've got it thanks aren't you surprised that the animal shelter is so careful about finding homes for the animals no i'm not and a cheeseburger medium rare with onion and french fries and a ginger ale with lots of ice salad dressing Hey, I wanted you to hear my new sound system when the dog scratched on the front door. Let's finish eating and then we'll go back to my house. I want you to hear my new tapes. I've got some great new dance music. Stewart residence. Hello, is Robbie Stewart there? This is he. Who is this? This is Linda Aborn from the animal shelter. It's Linda from the animal shelter. Yes, Linda, hi. We have good news and bad news, Robbie. Oh? The good news is that the Levinsons have come by to pick up the dog. The bad news is you won't be able to adopt the dog. That's okay. Come by one day and, and look at some of the other dogs. I'm sure there's one for you. Thanks, Robbie. And the Levinsons thank you for bringing their dog to us. Thanks, Linda. Bye. The owners claimed Gemma. That's right. I'm glad for the dog. I guess I am, too. She said if I come by, she'll help me find another dog. Come on, let's dance. They come in every shape, every size, and every color. Long hair and short hair, or no hair at all. Some come with feathers, and some have fur. And some will even come when you call I'm talking about pets 
in the USA. Pets in the USA. Some you can hold, some will walk by your side, and some you can ride every day. Some will shake your hand, and when they get to know you, they seem to understand what you say. I'm talking about pets in the USA. Pets in the USA. No matter what they look like, no matter what they are, we like to think of them as our friends. Just like you and me, they have personalities, and they can be such good company. Some live underwater, some live in a cage, and some can just walk around your home. They may have droopy eyes, they may have floppy ears, but they can keep you from feeling all alone. I'm talking about pets in the USA. Mmm, pets in the USA.